Hi everyone. Welcome to Digital Library. Today we will start our third lecture on Abacus. Those who have not seen the first or second lecture may click on the i button for the same. Right? So, as always, let's start with our story. There was a farmer who was happy and content. He was happy because he was content. He was content because he was happy. One day a wise man came to him, told him about the glory of diamonds and the power that goes along with them. The wise man said, if you had a diamond of size of your thumb, you could have your own city. If you had a diamond size of your fist, you could probably own your own country. And then he went away. That night the farmer couldn't sleep. He was unhappy and he was discontent. He was unhappy because he was discontent and discontent because he was unhappy. Right? The next morning he made arrangements to sell off his farm, take care of his family and went in search of diamonds. He looked all over the world and could not find diamond and then he committed suicide. Back home, the person who had bought his farm was watering the camels at a stream and ran through the farm. Across the stream, the rays of the morning sun hit a stone and made it sparkle like a rainbow. He thought it would good like a showpiece. He picked it up and put it in his living room. That afternoon, the wise man came and saw the stone sparkling. He said, Is the farmer back? The new owner said, No. Why do you ask? The wise man said, Because that is a diamond. I recognize one when I see one. The man said, No, that's just a stone I picked up from the stream. Come, I'll show you. There are many more. They went and picked some samples and sent them for analysis. Sure enough, the stones were diamonds. They found that the farm was indeed covered with acres and acres of diamonds. So, what do you realize from this story? If our attitude is right, we realize that all of us are walking on acres and acres of diamonds. There are so many people who want to replace our place, who want to exchange their place with us. The grass is always green on the other side. So, we should always thank God for giving us all the things we have and we should realize that we have acres and acres of diamonds. We have so many resources. We should not complain that I don't have this, I don't have that. If we know the value and true importance of resources we have, we can do anything we want from them. Right? So, coming to our today's lecture, Let's start. In the last lecture, we did simple addition. We took three, four examples and try to do simple addition with the bakers. Now, moving to next, we'll do some uh, a bit more complex addition, which cannot be solved just moving the beads. So there will be some formulas for that, which we call positive components. So today we will learn about positive components or big friends 9 plus 1 is equal to 10 we all know so can we say plus 9 is equal to 10 minus 1 so in big component we replace the value of plus 9 with 10 minus 1 let me clear you with taking examples for example we need to solve 7 plus 9 minus 5 so let's start 7 we uh, go to the unit place 5 6 7 plus 9 can we get 9 on this row no so how can we do this 9 plus 1 is equal to 10 so can we say plus 9 is equal to 10 minus 1 so 10 minus 1 like this then minus 5 so we take away the bead having value of 5 so what is the answer 10 1 11 
this arrangement of bead is representing the number 11 so answer is 11 moving further next question is 2 plus 2 plus 9 so 2 plus 2 plus 9 can we solve on this uh, or uh, this 10 please on any of these two roads no plus 9 so plus 9 for plus 9 we can do plus 10 minus 1 so answer is 10 11 12 13 13 is the answer is it clear we'll take one more example then we move to the next formula for example we need to solve 6 plus 3 plus 9 minus 3 6 5 6 plus 3 1 2 3 plus 9 can we add 9 on this row no so for what we do for 9 plus 10 minus 1 then minus 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so what is the answer 10 5 15 so this is the first formula of positive components or we call big friends plus 9 is equal to plus 10 minus 1 moving to next formula 8 plus 2 is equal to 10 so plus 8 is equal to 10 minus 2 let's take one example we need to solve 2 plus 8 plus 3 2 1 2 plus 8 5 6 7 it's not possible to add 8 on this row so what will you do for 8 for plus 8 plus 10 minus 2 then plus 3 1 2 3 so what is the answer 13 10 11 12 13 10 1 2 3 10 plus 3 is equal to 13 this arrangement of bead is representing the number 13 so is it clear for any addition or subtraction what we cannot do big number are generally used for addition when we cannot solve on the uh, this unit row then we move to 10 road and we apply our formula right so let's take one more example plus 4 plus 8 my plus 2 plus 4 1 2 3 4 plus 8 can we add 8 on this no 8 plus 10 minus 2 again plus 2 so 10 and 4 14 so 14 is the answer right let's take one more example to make it more clear 4 plus 8 plus 5 minus 7 4 plus 8 plus 8 means plus 10 minus 2 plus 5 minus 7 minus 5 minus 2 and the answer is 10 right so I hope you will find this video useful if you found this video helpful then please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel digital library thank you for watching